CBSE and CRT Solutions Chapter 5 Arithmetic Progressions Exercise 5.1 Problem number 3 The problem is for the following APs Write the first term and common difference There are 4 parts in this problem And the very first part is 3, 1, minus 1, minus 3 So this is AP given to us already For the following APs they are mentioning here So it's an AP given here So write the first term So first term is always like whatever first term you can see in the arithmetic progression that's pretty simple so first term is 3 first term is always represented by letter A so it's equal to 3 and what's common difference common difference is represented by small letter D and it's equal to difference between any two consecutive terms so you can pick any two consecutive terms from from this sequence Let's suppose we pick 3 and 1, the very first two terms, these, these are two consecutive terms. And the difference between these two consecutive terms is 1 minus 3 equal to minus 2. So common difference is minus 2 here. If you would have picked any two other two other two consecutive terms, the answer would be same always because it's an AP. So for example, if you would have picked minus 1 and minus 3, then the common difference would be minus 3 minus minus 1. I am subtracting this minus 1 from minus 3. So it would be minus 3 plus 1 equal to minus 2. So your answer would be same always. So common difference D is equal to minus 2 in this. Now coming to the second part. We have minus 5, minus 1, 3, 7 and so on. So first term is always the first term of the sequence. That's pretty clear. So first term is equal to A represented by letter A and it's equal to minus 5 and common difference is equal to difference between any two consecutive terms and we, we will pick the very first two terms minus 5 and minus 1 so difference between these two terms is minus 1 minus minus 5 so I subtracted this minus 5 from minus 1 so it's equal to minus 1 plus 5 it's equal to 4 Note that 7 minus 3 is also 4 and 3 minus minus 1 is also equal to 4. So I will write 4 here. Note that you cannot subtract minus 1 from minus 5. For example, if you do like that, if you subtract the next term from the previous term, that would be wrong. You will have you will have to subtract the previous term from the successive term always. So that's why I have subtracted this minus 5 from minus 1. You cannot subtract minus 1 from minus 5 that, that would be wrong and it will give you wrong answer so common difference d is 4 in this part and now coming to the third part we have 1 divided by 3 5 divided by 3 9 by 3 and 13 divided by 3 here the first term a is equal to 1 by 3 and common difference is equal to D is equal to difference between any two consecutive terms we can pick let's suppose that we pick these two consecutive terms so difference between them is 5 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 and it's equal to 4 divided by 3 and now the fourth part is we have 0 0.6 1.7 2.8 3.9 and so on and this was also like that and the first term is 0 0.6 and common difference is equal to difference between any two consecutive terms let's suppose we pick these ones it's 1.7 minus 0 0.6 and it's equal to 1.1 so that's it about problem number three it was pretty simple so in the next one I will be covering problem number 4, chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.1. See you guys.